delighted to be here. I love Rita Ann Higgins. I don't know why I'm here. I, I never speak for less than an hour. I'm a professor. Uh, so, you know, make yourself at ease. Uh, you know, it's only, it's only five past one. By two, we'll be gone. You know, uh, I'll let Rita Ann speak then. Um, no, this is the 11th of these plaques to go up. And the uh, brainstorm uh, behind it was Tom Kenny's. He started it ten years ago with Seamus Heaney doing the ladies' bathing poem out on the, uh, the, the long, uh, in Salt Hill on the promenade. He's backed it by providing the money. And uh, oh, there's you know Louis McNeese, W.B. Yeats, Jerry Daw, Moya Cannon. Uh, she's on the Wolf Tone Bridge. Kevin Fowler, he's near O'Brien's Bridge. Uh, Joyce is up in the Rahoon Cemetery. Yates is at the race course. You know, they're, they're all wonderful writers, obviously. Yates and Joyce, how could you do better? But the person that most belongs, the person that should be here first, and is that number one, mm. is Rita Ann Higgins. <laughs> because Rita Ann Higgins knows you. She, if you're from Galway, she knows you. She is Galway. She knows you inside and out. She can make you laugh. She can hit you up the side of the head. She can open your eyes. And she's been doing that over and over again. She is Galway, Galway's poet. Her father's from out in Connemara, all the way down to the racetrack, all through Galway. She inhabits it completely. Great line, I just quote, uh, I shouldn't do it, but it's somebody else. It's Fintan O'Toole, actually, in a long essay about Redan and the Irish Times had this great line, Now the bubbles burst, we're left with our real treasures. And Rita Ann is one of them. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. Well done. I hope I don't pull this on the wall. You have to help as well. <laughs> yeah. James, yeah. jump across as well, man. Come on. much very generous of you um, I just read the poem so that you can get in out of the cold and please all come into Richardson's for some refreshments and thanks a million the poem is called men with tired hair and I, I wrote it prior to the book was published in 1988 so I wrote it before that men with tired hair on a bank holiday Monday in Galway, you can see old men sitting on windowsills in Prospect Hill. Time is, a fact, time is not a factor here, only images pleasing and displeasing to the men with tired hair. Despite this easiness with life, there is a waiting, a lookout in anticipation of something. The looking up and down continues, the awaited stimulus always comes. Days it's a young woman, streets it's a fire, years it's news of a tragedy in far off Dublin. Thank you, and um, I'd like to say a special thanks very much. Thank you. I'd like to say a very special thank you to Tom Kenny and to uh, to Adrian for for uh, unveiling and launching, and and to James and Danny, of course, and everybody who had a part in this. So please um, come on inside and let's have some, have a drink or a cup of tea. Thanks very much. Thank you to everybody who's come here today. It's a great, it's a great event. Thank you in particular to Tom Richardson, the owner of the, the owner of Richardson's Bar. Um, actually, my great, 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 great granduncle apparently owned it back in the day when it was Walsh's. But well done. He was very, very keen right from the start that this fantastic poem should go on this great and historic building which has seen so many adventures over the years in Air Square. So thank you to to Richardson's Bar. And while I mentioned Richardson's Bar, I have to say that Jerry Hanbury has a regular gig here every Saturday night, murdering Bob Dylan and other great people. So do drop by. This bar actually is a long relationship with uh, events. I remember back in the day, Criterion launches and other literature events were held upstairs here. So thanks to everybody. Thanks, uh, apart from Tom, thanks to David Fahey, Fahey Memorial, who so did the great job on the memorial. They've been doing them for us for the last few years. Uh, thanks to Matty Hines 
Thanks for organising, um, for organising the technical side of things. And good luck to everybody in in court. I can see that Danny and her glamorous and powerful team are all here. So <laughs> that's it. Thanks again, and particularly thanks to Rita, who is now at long last immortalised in stone <laughs> in the heart of Galway. So, for me, the And of course, thanks to Tom Kenny.